It is Monday. It's after work. Just relaxing. Don't have any errands to run today or anything like that. So this weekend was kind of busy, you guys. And I should have took the camera out, but I didn't. I don't know. Y'all know me sometimes. Anyway, on Saturday, we went thrifting. And y'all, I found a dress with the tag still on it. The spot where we go to a lot of times. Every time I go there, I always find something brand new or just something that I like. And yeah, so we did that on Saturday. <clears throat> We did a lot of shopping on Saturday. I'm telling you, every time I'm in Savannah's car, I'm spending money. I just need to stay out of a car. <laughs> so that, and then yesterday was church. Church was amazing. Church is always awesome. And then yesterday, Savannah and I went to see the Barbie movie, finally. Cheyenne had already seen it the weekend it came out with some of her coworkers. So we seen it yesterday, Savannah and I, because yesterday was actually national cinema day or something like that and all the movies were four bucks i don't know if you guys knew that or whatever i didn't know it until she was like you want to go see barbie and she said it's four dollars so we did that y'all i absolutely loved the movie i i loved it so i don't think i told you guys this but when i was younger growing up barbie was like my whole world i absolutely loved barbie dolls and i wanted more of course so when I had kids, when I had Cheyenne, I bought her the Barbie doll. She had the plane. She had she had so many Barbies, the house. I mean, just a bunch of different things, right? And I bought it for Savannah also. I will never forget though, Cheyenne was seven years old. And of course for her birthday, I just bought her this plethora of Barbie things and clothes and shoes and whatever. And she told me that night, she said, wow, mom, you must really like Barbie. And I said, what do you mean? You like Barbie too? She said, well, not really. I like it, but not as much as you like it because you always buy it for me. What? What do you mean? All little girls love Barbie, right? So then after that, I started buying her the Bratz dolls and just other things, whatever. But I thought everyone loved Barbie. And I thought because I had a love for Barbie that you know, my kids obviously have to have a love for Barbie also. No, she didn't really. She liked it, but she didn't. But Savannah, now Savannah was one who absolutely loved Barbie. And yeah, and it was funny because, oh, I don't want to give any spoilers from the movie if you guys haven't seen it. But anyway, I had a lot of the dolls that's in the movie, a lot of the clothes and just things like that. So I actually loved it brought a few tears to my eyes just I don't know just thinking back about my childhood and playing with Barbie I don't know but anyway I thought it was good thought it was cute and can't wait till it comes out and I'm going to purchase it I haven't bought a movie in a long time you guys because I don't know now I don't know if you guys remember when I used to buy movies often it would automatically be at least two maybe three but now I don't know I don't buy movies as often as I used to especially with the streaming services i mean of course if it's something that i feel like i have to have i'm going to buy which i haven't bought one in a long time but yeah the barbie movie is going to be one that i have to have yeah so that's all that's going on right now you guys uh savannah's texting me she is enjoying her christian college experience and i'm so happy for her I'm just catching up on my YouTube subscriptions and yeah, I may go paint up my dresser in a little bit, but kind of really don't feel like doing that today. So I don't know. We'll see. I literally just got off of work, so I need to, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do for the evening. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday and it's getting a little bit dark now or it's starting to stay dark longer hold on i always have to put a lotion bottle behind you guys to make you guys stabilize so anyway today is wednesday like i was saying and um hopefully today will be my last day in office as far as working there supposedly we're gonna be doing full-time remote we'll see um because with my job i told you guys it's 
they'll tell you one thing one week and the next week it's like something different and then oh we never said that so yeah we'll see but um yeah but and then they said our desk is still gonna be there so I don't know if we have to clear out our area today which my desk is not full of stuff I have pictures of Kehlani and my kids in Boston but I don't have a whole lot of stuff to clear out so we'll see Saturday is my birthday you guys I will be 51 and I'm thankful to God for another year but today is also gonna be that awkward because every year at my job, when it's your birthday, they give you a gift card and they sing happy birthday to you with people in our department and you have the cake. So yes, it's a nice gesture, but it's just so awkward. So gotta stand there while these people sing happy birthday to me and have some cake and chat amongst ourselves with people that I really don't like. Yeah, Not all of them, because some of them I really do enjoy being around but most of them yeah anyway i better get going y'all all right let's do this last day in office hopefully as long as someone doesn't mess it up nervous about not selling my item but meeting up with people because you just never know and I was talking to the girl back and forth and then when we made the decision to meet I said okay I will only meet at such and such police department and I'm thinking I'm like okay if they say no then I'm not mailing it you're not coming to my house she said fine and I'm like okay good and then she said well my husband's gonna meet you because I'll be at work which probably is the case probably was the case because her husband did meet me but there were cops there they actually had a cop that was out in his car so I felt safe and of course I had my little handy dandy pin let me show you guys I have a pin that you can mark your bills it looks like a marker and if the cash is real it's yellow but if it's fake or you know or if you like write on paper the regular paper with it it'll show up black or brown so i had that and he was totally fine with it and yeah oh i didn't even tell you guys what i sold so my very first camera that i had when i started vlogging i take that back my very first g7x it was the first the mark one i sold that one and i had it on macari when I bought this one, because I have the G7X Mark II, I put the other one on Macari, and I kept getting people asking, oh, $50, $75. Okay, I get it's like the first edition, but I paid $650 for that camera, and yes, I know I'm not gonna get $650 for it, but um, come on, come on. So, and, and also in addition to that, I kept getting people messaging me that had no picture, they just made their account, and there's a bunch of Macari scams and whatever, and I'm like, you know what, I don't trust you. And then I took it off Macari, I deactivated it, it's been like a couple of years, and as I'm doing my dressers, I seen the camera, and I'm like, I didn't sell this? I totally forgot I didn't sell it, so I'm like, look, you know what, let me put it on Facebook Market. So I put it on Facebook Market, and then of course, then I started getting messages about, oh, do you have Zelle? That's another, Facebook market scam, Zelle and then Venmo and stuff like that. And this girl messaged me. I went through her Facebook page, it was open, she had a bunch of pictures, a bunch of friends, all the different comments, whatever. So I felt like, okay, if 
you know, she agrees to meet at the police station, then she's probably legit. So she was, and even though I was apprehensive of going by myself, I wanted to get it off my hands and they weren't able to do it on Saturday. Otherwise I would have had, you know, the girls or Tyreek or whatever with me on Saturday. But yeah, that sold and they gave me what I was asking for it. So yeah, okay, I got what I needed. Y'all, I had to force myself to leave. Y'all don't realize how dangerous Hobby Lobby is for me. I mean, I have nothing to do, so I could have window shopped, but yeah. I'm trying to do things in a certain order, so I do plan on going back or coming back to Hobby Lobby to, I don't know, just look for a few more fall items so I can decorate for fall when the time comes. But I know if I look now, I'm gonna buy now. Hello everyone, happy Friday. It's after work. It's a three day weekend. My birthday is tomorrow and I'm excited. I'm not doing anything really. I'm just excited to have a three day weekend finally again. So yeah, I'm actually on my way to Target. There's a hair shop I wanna check out. And what else? Then I gotta go to Winco. We are out of water, and I told you guys how Savannah is with water, so. That, and then I'm gonna go home and start painting my dressers in my room. Well, I'll paint another one, so. Yeah. Okay, slow your roll. Come on, whipping out of there like she done lost her mind. Anyway, all right, you guys, let's see what Target tells me to buy. I'm back from the store. I only went to Target, then I did go to the hair shop and I got another ponytail, which you guys will see it on me eventually. And then I went to Winco. So I didn't buy very much at Target. Let me show you guys what I got at Target. So I mainly went because this body wash right here, I absolutely love. It smells so good. There's different scents. I was gonna say flavors. I don't be eating body wash, y'all, I promise you. But there's different scents. But this one to me smells so good. And then this peach sorbet sugar scrub. Groceries, just a few things from Winco. Y'all wanna see that, just groceries. But I will show you guys this. So. I don't know what this is technically called. I just call it the tamarind drink or whatever. So I don't know if other cities or other states do this, but here in California, sometimes people will be in parking lots or sometimes on in the neighborhood, the street corners, and they will sell like, I think it's called the Mexican street corn and I call it a fruit cup with all the fruits, with the chamoy and, you know, Valentina sauce and all that. And it's be so good. And so the guy that I bought from today, I asked him, I said, do you have the tamarind drink? I know that's not what it's called. It could be, I don't know. But he started pointing to things. I said, yes, that's it. So he fixed it. And so I asked him, I said, what's the official name for it? And he said, okay. And so I figured he didn't know that much English. and. I, my Spanish is very little, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. But if you guys know what these drinks are called, it could very well be called the tamarind drink. I don't know. Let me know, but it's just so good. With chamoy, Valentina sauce, I think chili. Good morning. It is Saturday, September 2nd, and it's my birthday, and Savannah got me up hecka early in the morning. It's 7 o'clock. We're on our way to go get her car an oil change and she wanted me to come with her. She's an adult, she can do things by herself. Yes, I'm going with her, but yes, I've decided to dress up because it's my birthday and it's raining y'all and I have on sandals. Yeah, have on my sandals and Savannah does too. And it's raining. She told me happy birthday. <laughs> you getting candy too? It's too early for candy. Oh, but you got. Oh, but you got me candy. <laughs> My breakfast date. <laughs> We're at Mimi's. 
<laughs> Look at her plate of vegetables and rice. This is sushi rice. Sushi rice? Yeah, look at it. Oh. Let's see where she's putting sushi. Uh, sushi. Okay, you are not going to eat that bacon. Mm. Ew, no. <laughs> okay, so let us get in her car wash. I don't work here. <laughs> yeah, she has to get her car wash. Yeah. I don't work here. We're actually at Savannah's job, but she gets free car washes on even on her days off. And sometimes I'll come here and get my car washed. I came here before. Yeah. We are in Barnes and Noble. Y'all, this is my damage so far, and we're still looking. So we just left Barnes and Nobles. Or Barnes and Noble, whatever. Barnes and Nobody. <laughs> Barnes and Nobody. I got six books. It's been $145, y'all. Yes, I know it's my birthday and all, but every time I get in this one's car, I spend way too much money. I should just stop coming with you to places. <laughs> seem, no. seem, yeah, she's not going to tell me no. She always tells me to get in or, what are you doing today? Come in my car. Do this. Let's go do that. Yeah, I should have learned my lesson after the second time. I encourage spending. She encourages spending. <laughs> and we're about to go spend some more. <laughs> yep. We're at Pushkin's Bakery. Savannah found vegan donuts. Y'all, Tyreek sent me um, edible arrangements is dip fruit. Well, yeah, edible arrangements. And then he got me some flowers. That's from him and Taylor. I love it. Oh my goodness, look, it's so cute. Little candles. Can you guys see that? Yeah, there's a candle on two of them. Good morning. It's the next day. See what had happened was no, y'all didn't miss nothing. I didn't forget the vlog. Remember, Savannah woke me up at the butt crack of dawn because she wanted me to go to Nissan with her to get the oil change because she needed her mom because it was an adult thing to do. Whatever. We were ready in there, maybe around 7:30. I don't know because they open at seven. So I started my day pretty early. The plan was when we came home to rest up a little bit and then go out to dinner. That never happened because we all fell asleep. Yeah. And we slept for a long time. So by the time we all were up and moving around, it was like 8, 8.30. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna grab something left over at the refrigerator and we can just go another day. And Cheyenne was teasing. She was like, it's because you're old, mom. You're 51 now. Yes, I'm 51 yesterday. And I'm like, oh, really? Because I seen you were asleep, too. So don't blame it on age. We were just really tired. So and then I realized this morning that I didn't show you guys the books that I got from Barnes & Noble. And so if you're not into the books, then skip ahead a little bit. But when I saw Carol's video about all the nice books that she had, and I'm a book person, I love books. I have a Kindle and I have actual books as well. And she has some beautiful books. The covers are just gorgeous. So when I seen her video, that's the reason why I wanted to go to Barnes and Noble. Even though I have like, I have one, two, three, I have five books here that are on deck. I should have read those before I bought more, but I had to. Plus, it was my birthday. So, let me show you guys what I got. So, first of all, you guys know that there is, well, if you don't know, there's a new Hunger Games movie coming out. So, I do have the first three books. So, ignore my loud fan. It's kind of warm in the house, and I don't want to turn the air on right now because it's raining outside. And I just told Edna that... It was still hot as ever in California. Anyway, so this book right here is the fourth book. There's a new movie coming out in November for The Hunger Games. And this book is actually a prequel to The Hunger Games. So I got this and I'm gonna read this one first. Then I got this book right here, it's called Hunted. And it's about a girl that goes missing and they just find her camera and the things like that and it just sounds really good so this was one of the books where you buy one you get one 50% off so um, I got another one in this category well not category but with that had the sticker on it so that 
this book right here Savannah told me about five survive and this sounds like a complete movie that I would watch but I guess six friends go on vacation and somebody's after them and I guess only five survive um, if you want to pause it and read what it's about you can if you can even see it but it sounds really good so I just I had to get it this book right here it's so pretty you guys and even has a little bookmark whatever and look at the edging anyway this is one of the classic books test of the Dubervilles I've been meaning to read this for years and I never have and I know there's movies out about it that I can just you know see the movie but I decided to get the book and see what it's about but it's one of those classics and yeah that now these next two I am really really looking forward to these were my most expensive books this book right here was 40 bucks and see it's part of the buy one get one 50% off so this book right here house of leaves the guy who worked there was explaining this book to me this one and the next one that I'm going to show you this book in the short version is about a house that is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside and there's three different stories but they all intertwine and it's kind of like a creepy mystery and everything that he was telling me he sold me on and I had to get it and the word house every time it's in the book it's in this blueprint and the book he said is kind of a hard read not hard as far as you won't understand it let me try to show you guys what I mean hard as far as there's a lot of footnotes in the book and okay stuff like this this side you would have to go to a mirror to read and sometimes the footnotes are upside down which not here but see some pages only have a tiny little paragraph on the bottom or at the top like that and trying to go to a page one word on the page it, it's very interesting it's an interactive book and yeah just what he told me the book is about he said it's very creepy and I just know I, I cannot wait to read this after I read the Hunger Games one or the prequel to Hunger Games I'm gonna start on this one because I absolutely cannot wait to read this book and this last one this book y'all was $45 it came sealed and I would have never known about the book right here and this one unless the guy told me about it and I'm glad he did because I absolutely cannot wait to read this book it's called S and it's sealed because it has inserts that come out and it postcards and stuff and it goes along with the story so in the short version he told me a person finds a book in a library which is this book and even on the edge it has like you know how the little thing that is in the library so to look like a library book so someone finds a book in a library and finds a bunch of notes handwritten in there so they respond to the person they hide the book in the same place and they go back and forth writing notes because they're trying to figure out who the author of the book is and to see if the story is real stuff like that well the actual book is called ship of thesis so it's like two stories in one um it's not focusing there we go so the actual book is called ship of thesis or is it theseus no it's thesis and the book is about um, a guy who goes out on a date with a girl he realizes he's been drugged he wakes up on a ship and their mouths are stitched together I know I know creepy and weird as ever but it's like two stories in one so the people going back and forth are trying to find out if the story and who the actual author is because from what I'm told so JJ Abrams is not the person who actually wrote the book I can't wait to read this one also and I'm not gonna open it because I don't want any of the inserts or whatever to fall out so yeah you guys that's my little book haul cannot wait to get into this one but 
yeah you guys are probably like okay yeah whatever but all right on to the rest of my day it should not be looking like this in september maybe november but not september and it did rain yesterday and it's supposed to rain today